What's up everybody? Today in this video I wanted to give you a few of the Airtable niches that I know that I'm aware of that you can go into Airtable Consulting in. So I wanted to give this tutorial and just introduce you to some of the ones that I'm aware of, some of the ones that I've been introduced to that I see here and there, and give you which one that I do and why I do it. And yeah, I'll just I'll just really give you that. So first, if you haven't met myself yet, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS, and what we do is we help business owners solve their systems, basically. We help them do workflow automation, we help them do database implementation, and marketing automation, so stuff like that. If you're a business owner and you're curious about our services, you can go in the link in the description and request a free consultation or read that page in the description. Without further ado, we'll get right into the tutorial now. So Airtable consultant, whatever you want to do, most likely it's going to be providing a service, whether that's a software as a service or your time as a service or like project based as a service. The, there are a lot of ways that I could see you getting involved with Airtable as a consultant. So these are going to be niches. So the first niche and you're going to pick exactly your niche like who you serve but this is more going to be how and what capacity you serve them so capacities to serve them business owners or people you could serve people in this capacity as well but the first one is what i do and what i do is i work on a project basis or hourly basis depending on the client and i build out a database for them and that is a database that fulfills all of their needs, all of their basic needs in their business. At the very basic level, that's what I do. I also do a lot more with other systems. So this is specifically about how to be an Airtable consultant, but you could expand to other systems as well and do that same project basis or hourly basis on just consulting them on helping them with their systems, just easy to use database design, that kind of stuff. The second one, which is probably a little bit more high paying, but a little bit less of the market is scripting. And in Airtable, I think it's, well, it's JavaScript. If you know how to use JavaScript or you know, you want to learn JavaScript, I highly encourage you to do that if you're passionate about it, because you can become an Airtable consultant that does almost purely scripting. And you can do this on the side of your job as well. This could be your side hustle is providing scripting solutions for businesses or for people. And I know there's a big need for this because there's not very many people good at scripting. And that's not even that hard to learn. I've learned three coding, three coding languages in the last three months. So, well, three or four months because I've taken three classes with it. It's not that difficult. And so that's the first one and the second one. So the first one, providing database design, database implementation. The second one is providing the scripting and the scripting solutions for business owners or for people, whoever your niche is, I don't, I don't care. Another one, so that that's basically the two that I can normally think of when it comes to Airtable consultants working for like a business owner. The other half of the equation are SaaS products. So you can build stuff like Stacker, and I haven't done this, so I can't exactly say exactly how to do it. But you can build something like Stacker. You can build something like Open Side Solutions. You can build something like, well, I guess it'd be the, the Onto Air products. But you can build software that sits on top of Airtable that provides a service. Also like mini extensions. I know they're a very good product of Airtable. But you can build out some of these like SaaS products that work in coordination with somebody's Airtable or a custom private Airtable. And this can really be very useful for other business owners if you can market it well, if you can get it to them in a timely manner at the right price and at the right time. So those are basically the ones that I see. I mean, mini extensions, if you go and look them up, they have a lot of really good mini extensions for your browser and they're amazing. Stacker provides an incredible front end prototype. Well, they provide an incredible front end software piece that you can use. I know there's another guy who builds websites that are purely run off of Airtable. So you can do something like that. You can also, back to my first two, is you can work in the capacity of like a scripting role or a database design role, or you could combine both, but I highly encourage you to really think what are you best at and how can you provide value in the Airtable community. You can also look, if you really don't want to own your own business or agency or anything like that, you can go and look at opportunities at my business that 
open side at with Gareth Pronovos probably. I don't know exactly what opportunities he has, but and also on Upwork. You can market your services on any of these, and if you're really curious about how to become an Airtable consultant, I have two videos on my channel. One's how I became an Air Airtable consultant, and the other one's how you can become an Airtable consultant. And I go a little bit into how I did in that video as well, but I hope this was really useful. I hope this helps you find your niche. I mean, I, I think I gave three, three good ways you can go and provide value in the Airtable community, three different ways, very different, I would say, because they're definitely different technical levels. I know I picked mine because I think I can help the most people and get the most good out of my time by providing the most basic skills. So learning the fundamentals of formulas, learning the basic fundamentals of database design. That's how I think I can help the most people in the shortest amount of time. So that's why I chose mine. You might have other reasons why you want to choose yours, whether that's scripting, a SaaS product, or exactly what I do. You could have different reasons as well. But I hope this was really useful. Hopefully you're able to find your niche if you want to do Airtable consulting. And if you, I will open this up as well. If you want help becoming an Airtable consultant, if you're curious about that, you can go in the link in the description, the same link as everybody else. And you can just fill out a time to talk with me with that link. And you can... We can, we can talk about it. Just make sure you're, you came from this, say you came from this video, you're interested in becoming an Airtable consultant and who knows, maybe we can work something out between us or I can just give you my best advice and answer some questions you may have about becoming an Airtable consultant. So I wish you well, throw a comment if this was helpful. If you want to see any more videos like this or have any specific questions that you don't want to schedule a time to talk with me about, but I hope this is helpful and have a great day.